they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to Talk of the Town. We got a very special guest in the building. Let them know who we got. Sugar, did I, man? I know the vibes. All right. We hopefully, as we go through, the energy picks up a little bit. We're going to start off with a round of rapid fire questions. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to mind, all right? All right. Last thing you ate. No, I ain't eating nothing today. I just came straight over here. Okay, for one, I hate that for you. You do need to eat something. But what was the last thing you ate last night? What you Cereal. ate for dinner? Um, fruity pebbles mixed with Lucky Charms. Fruity pebbles I mixed with Lucky Charms. You're not jacking that? I'm not. I, I mean, for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like that's a terrible combo. But also, I don't like fruity cereal. So, that's what you have Sorry for dinner? Sorry to hear like that. I like my cereal the way I... You, you know? like it. I love it. Favorite color? Red. Biggest turn off. I don't like that word. If a nigga that have a turn off is like. So what's something that grinds your gears? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't really care what bitches do. I mean, I don't really care what they do now. Like I'm, I shit what girls do don't concern me. What you mean? Like they don't. So like, if you talking to somebody or you getting to know somebody, like, what's something that they would do that would like just be like, yeah, you would up. I ain't gonna lie. The the problem is now is that uh, is the internet, bro. I just I just don't. I just wouldn't rather put myself in that predicament. For me, so I just stay to myself. For me, I don't I don't. So nothing. Even if I was even if I was talking to a shorty right now and she fucking with a hundred more niggas, I don't care. Like, cause I don't I don't care. You you don't owe me no loyalty. I don't owe you no loyalty. For me, it's just. I mean, it's just there. I don't really care. Okay, so what about like a turn off with like one of your bros or like a friend? Like, what's something that somebody would do that would make you not want to fuck with them no more? There's, I don't know. You just don't care all of, yeah. like all the way around. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you give people a lot of grace if you really just let them do whatever. Nah, like what you mean? Like I don't mean I don't know what you say. Because like. The bros wouldn't do nothing. To, to. It yeah, and it don't even have to be all right because we don't gotta give this too much airtime. But like, I feel like even if you're around somebody, let's say like one of your bros brought somebody around, like what's something that they would do that would make you be like, nah, like they gotta go. Like, what's just something that would like piss you off? No, I don't know, like, cause the bro, I don't like, I don't know. That's just not we how my niggas move. Though. Some people say niggas act funny around girls, like trying to show off. Uh, I don't, I like, don't know. That's just other niggas. Like, I don't know. I, I me personally. I don't put myself around niggas that do that. Bro. I don't put myself around niggas that well, if bitches come around, they act funny. I don't do nothing. So what? Okay, what I'm gathering from this is you're just not a hypothetical type of nigga. Like nah, you don't like hypothetical situations because we just saying like if you are in a situation like what's something that somebody would do that would make you like kind of like not want to be around them no more or like that would like kind of nah make you like just of yourself? course but of course I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Like, if, like for an example, now I understand. Like, if everybody drinking or something, and some bitch acting mad drunk or a nigga just mm -hmm. mad drunk, that would just be annoying mm -hmm. for me. But besides that, what I'm saying, I don't surround myself around anybody who 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 will do anything to get me mad. There's no no no. All the bros is. Why would the bros bring anybody? The bros. They wouldn't. Me? But like for me, let's say like. A turn off for me is like somebody who lie a lot. <laughs> no shade. But that doesn't mean that I surround myself with people that lie a lot. It's just like if I catch you in a few lies, I'm going to feel like that's a little turn off for me. But that doesn't mean that I surround myself with people like that, you know? So you get what I'm saying? Like, you. it's not to say like what your turn off is is a reflection of who you're around. It's just like it's a reflection of what you don't like. So that's the kind of people that you're not around. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. So still nothing. Just, <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on because we give giving bro, too much Because effort. I just, bro, like, I don't, I don't. You don't like, got, and nothing really phases you like that for it to be a turn off. Yeah, because I don't really be putting myself in the situations for, for me. And then and, and I don't put myself in situations to, for me to. To even, even have one. Yeah. To, okay. Yeah. Well, that's great <laughs> that you. you haven't experienced that yet. All right, what's your favorite thing to do during your free time? Play my game. That's all for me. When I'm done playing my game, watch some Power, Raising Canaan, BMF, Chill. Okay. Yeah. 
So you like the the fifty franchises. I know you said your favorite movie was Get Rich or Die Trying too, so you a fifty fan. Okay. Um biggest misconception about you. That's all. Really, you think so? Like what's something that people say that you know is not true, like that you might see like nah, that's hard because because like again, like that's mad hard because like everybody around me like like is either telling me something for me for the good. So for me, something somebody that would probably say something that um that's something lying about me is probably the media and I will never put mine to that. For me, so mm-hmm. Anybody that's around me, like, for me, is either they either telling me something for the good for me. But have you heard anything that you, like, would want to clear up or anything about yourself? No, nah, actually, that's a fact, too. Like, that's, 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 I put myself aside from that. Like, if you see, if you, like, pay attention to me now, you wouldn't see a lot of shit mm. from me. That's what I try to tell you. Like, mm. right now, I just try to tell you. If there's anybody talking, it would just be the media. Anybody around me would just try to tell me something mm-hmm. for the good. That's why I said it's hard, because I, I, from the top of my head, it would just be the media. Mm-hmm. For me, that's how for me. Okay, so I, from what I'm hearing you say is that right now with the space that you're in, you're like not for, really... Like, I, like, right now, like, I wouldn't see something about, oh, did I did this, did I did that. If anything is mad long ago when I was, for me... Okay, yeah, that's More what I was going to say. Mature, for me. You're in a that's different space saying. now, so mm-hmm. it's not really stuff. You're not surrounding yourself with people that's going to like do anything that you don't like, and you're not putting anything out there for anybody to have any type of feedback on that wouldn't be true to like what you're giving if them. If anybody so got well. something from me, it's probably my years ago. Like, mm-hmm. for me, like, and then if you really find something from me now, you're like, you really just digging hard for no, re- no actual reason. Okay. Yeah. Well, can I tell you something I've heard about you? You can tell me if it's a misconception or not. All right. I heard that you a player, player from the Himalayas. <laughs> <laughs> how? How? Yeah, how? Like I heard that you be like talking to a lot of girls. No, is it true? Is it not? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pleading the fifth on this one? <laughs> yeah, I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, who's your favorite New York artist? Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I like the way a boogie moves. I ain't gonna lie, cause like he don't even drop music and he just be on posting tours and them shit sell out. Mm-hmm. So I like the way he do that. So for me, and I'm really young too. So like when I was really just started listening to music, it was like a boogie and shit. So mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, right from the top of my head, from drill wise, my favorite drill artist from New York, it's like right now, right now is my son Duty Low, my mm-hmm. son Duty Low and Bloody. The best, best drill rappers in my opinion right now. Like for me, like drill rappers, like they got it for me. But like, I don't really listen to nobody. Like New York is not really a lot. If I'm, if I'm from the top, like, uh, and I'm young too, so like it's old heads too mm-hmm. for me. So I can't really like, like my son Joel Santana too. Like he cooled me. Like I me, mean, I can't really say from the top of my head. Um, if you could take a trip anywhere right now, where would you go? I'll just be in Miami. I ain't gonna lie. No. Nah. What? No. Anywhere in the world. Like, I anywhere. love Miami, gang. But That's you could me. go to Miami like at any time. If you could take a trip to anywhere in the world, where would you go? I don't want you to limit Hawaii. yourself to Miami. Okay. Hawaii? But I'm gonna be scared there. Cause, Why? Because. I went to Hawaii last summer. And shit over there. Like, one of them they don't, are, they're not one like of them that. Acting. While I'm over there, I'm be tight. But even if they do, you'll be fine. I think you should go to my uh to Hawaii. I'm manifesting that for you. It's really beautiful. Talking about I'm gonna be fine. You'll be I fine. I literally you, went to Hawaii. I don't Hawaii want you to ever think year. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> I don't want you to ever think I'm gonna be fine. If a volcano erupts while I'm there. But it's not. Why would you even put that out there? I thought you don't even like speaking hypothetically. You couldn't even tell me what a turnoff is, but you talking about a volcano erupting while you in Hawaii? No, please. <laughs> please. Um, who's the most famous person in your phone? Can I check? Sure. Uh, a couple niggas. Oh, per. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I got my son. My son, Tusi. Shout son, out to Tusi. My son, Smirk. Smirky-o. My son, Lil Zay Osama. For me. My son Smirk right there all the time. My son Smirk gave me his number like three times. My son always losing his shit. Mm. 
I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, um, I forgot who number I got for to, bro. All right. Well, shout out to Dirt. And shout out to everybody else. Number that you got. Love that you got more than one. Uh, well connected. Um, what's your best memory from this year so far? 2024? Mm-hmm. Um, rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. Period. So we gonna get into loud. rolling loud in a little bit, but rolling you know loud was <laughs> rolling loud was your best memory this year. Uh, rolling loud overall, or is there anything like rolling loud 2024? Rolling loud 2024. Cali 2024 <laughs> movie. Best, best. <laughs> okay. Um, the first letter of your first love. Oh no, I never really got a letter. I, don't remember, I never really got a letter. Like, I never really wrote No, I'm saying the first letter of your first love's name. What kind of initial would start with? Oh, like. TP, I'm not saying. <laughs> okay. One word that people use to describe you. I don't know. No, no, no. See, I was hoping that you did not say anything. Because last time you was here, Kobe gave you a word and you went with that. So I don't want you to say funny. <laughs> I, w- I want your word. I want you to give me a word that people use to describe you. Um, I'm the GOAT. Okay, that's fair. And one word to describe the rest of 2024. I don't really you know. I got to see what it got oh for me. Uh, what the fuck? We just got in 2024. How you want me to see what our 2024 because got for me? Because you can predict it. It's going to be great. It's going to be yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'm about to drop it's my album. I'm about to do the best. I'm about to do the best. So I'm it's going to be lit. Best. What you mean? But I'm just saying like... You like, don't like you don't want to speak that into existence for yourself? Like it's 2024 is going to be a movie because I'm dropping my tape and it's going to be lit. Yeah, I'm dropping my tape and it's over after that. Exactly. So... But I'm just saying like you're saying, can you no. predict... I didn't, I didn't say, can you predict? I never said that. I'm not asking you to see it to the future. I said one word to describe. Oh, so we're going to say, like, it's lit. Movie. Album oh. dropping. It's up. My full game. Yeah, because you're trying to come. you trying to come at me. you really trying to get around all these questions. The crazy thing is we didn't even get into the interview yet. Like, this was supposed to be rapid fire, and you're making it so difficult. I'm sorry. But, all right. That concludes our rapid fire portion. <laughs> so... How are you feeling? Let's let's just calibrate real quick. How you feeling? I'm feeling sturdy right now. Feeling okay. Good. I'm feeling the Pell. I love that the Pells are making a comeback. I feel like when Pells, were you like out? I was mad young. Yeah, I, I feel yeah, because I was like I don't really think. <laughs> so I this is like a, this is a new. So what what inspired you to um put the Pell back? Like who did you see with the Pell on that made you? Nah, um them um Pell just hit me and my son Didi up from back in the day. Uh, not from back in the day. Me they hit me and my son Didi up, and we went. But from back in the day, like mm-hmm. I used to see my pops and shit, like my uncle, everybody. Shit used to just be a trend and shit, but. They really hit me and my son Didi up. We went to the to like a factory, I think, mm-hmm. just like this, and they had mad coats and shit around. And we, they was like, "Yo, just pick what y'all want." I mean, and this one was just no. This one they personally gave it to me. Then I went after, and they let us pick like a couple coats, and we took them back to the crib. I mean, so I shout out Pele Pele for giving us the coats. Shout out and shout out to you for getting these deals. Love that for you. Thank you. Um, so we did touch on Rolling Loud real briefly before. Mm-hmm. I know you still riding that Rolling Loud high right now. So let's talk a little bit about that. How first of all, how was your set? How you felt like overall? Y'all did. Yeah, I had my, my son Bloody was my son Bloody was on the stage with me. Mm-hmm. And my son Six Baby, Didi, Duty, all the guys for me. For me, the fact that he was just. Four or five years ago, we never thought we was ever going to be on a Rolling Loud stage right. for me. Any of us, for me. The fact that we all was in the Rolling Loud stage and all of us, all of us, more than 10 niggas booked their flight to Cali just to have fun. Mm-hmm. That's just, it's just the meaning of it for me. Because it, it, it never was a thought before. For right. Me. So the fact that we're doing it now is just, for me, it's grateful. That's yeah, it. definitely proud of you. Y'all brought Sugar Hill to Cali. That's really, really big. Um, From the hill to the hills. Oh, period. 
Mm. Like that, I like that. So you you know other people though that make music. So how did the decision come down to like who was gonna be on stage with you? How like what was those conversations like? Um, what you say? Like the people that was on stage with you, most of them made music. But you know other people outside of the people that was on stage with you that make music too. So how did you decide like who was gonna be on stage with you for rollout? It out? wasn't. It wasn't a decision. It was just we Whoever all just going who we just we. Like the members, my son Duty performed, mm -hmm. Bloody, and me, we all performed together. For me, everybody was just there having a good time. Okay, and before, do you have any like pre show like things that you do to get yourself like in the. Yeah, like niggas go, niggas went to rehearsal after, uh, before that. For me, it was just mm -hmm. having fun in the rehearsal, playing with the, with the DJ shit. For me, everything is just about, for me, just having fun, bro. For me, we went to rehearsal before we went live. But, like, for you personally, like, is there anything that you do before getting on stage to get yourself right before you perform? No? Nah, not really. I just be sitting there waiting for the crowd. They be like, you ready for Sugar Hill d -Dot? And I be like, yeah, I might have just performed. Let me mm -hmm. knock this shit down for my for the people the people that do that love me, for me. So how was the reception afterwards? Like, did you get any feedback? Um, Of course. I did, like... Mad interviews that day, bro. I did like twenty something interviews that day, bro. Booked and busy. For me, mm -hmm. shout out my publicist for me and other vibes. For me, I did okay. like twenty something, <laughs> twenty something interviews that day, bro. For me, I felt like I was, I was like going back and forth everywhere. Okay, and that's good. Like I said, booked and busy. And now when you came back to the towns, like, did that change your mindset at all about where your career is going? Like, what were your thoughts when you made nah, it back home? Just for me, it was just. When I came back to the crib, I was just seeing everything posted about me because for me, everything, everything just started trending on social media mm -hmm. for me. Then for me, I was just chilling in the crib. I was like, after I dropped my album, it's, it's, it's go time. Okay. So while you were performing, you just dropped a song, Tweaking, came out for No, nah, but I didn't perform that. I dropped, I dropped it after rolling out. But I, before that, I mm -hmm. dropped my later, my other latest song, Outside, for me, and I performed it on Rolling Loud. Right. So, I'll give you your time. I was just going to ask if you previewed it, because I know some people, like, when they have a song coming, like, they preview the song just to see, like, what the mm -hmm. crowd reaction is going to be. So, you didn't pre nah, you left yeah, that left until, that it, until, until it, it dropped. Yeah. Okay. I fuck with it, by the way. We're going to get into that. But, so, you performed outside there. What was the reaction to that? Everybody was lit for me. I had supporters there that was specifically there for me and my son Didi and shit for me. So okay. it was a good time. I met a lot of other artists for me. Everything was just, I mean, everything was good. Everything was sturdy. Okay, so I know you said you saw a lot in the media. Do you read comments? Uh, not really. Not no. a lot for me. Sometimes, like, a lot. Sometimes, like, a lot, but sometimes I don't. For me, sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. You get it? <laughs> Like Sometimes like 50, you do. 50 Does it depend thing. on like what they talking about? Type shit. Yeah. Okay. So right now, New York is taking it. Like I said, y'all doing y'all big one. Y'all have so much talent. What's your thought on like the current New York sound and just like where music in New York is at right now? Mm, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really care. My niggas got that shit on lock. Don't piss me off, please. <laughs> what you mean you don't care? What you think about it? My niggas got that shit on lock. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really listen to that. Everybody just be the bitches listening to that. My niggas got drill and lock. Bloody and duty low got drill and lock. Okay, so look, I feel like you right now are in a space where that I actually really, really liked. Where you are, you're not leaving drill behind, but you're kind of transitioning a little bit. I feel like outside didn't give me um, drill, but. Tweaking kind of gave me like the drill jersey sound. You kind of tapped into it a little bit. I don't think for you to say that like sexy drills for the pictures or anything is like, I don't want you to feel that way because I feel like there's just so much more to it. You could even body sexy drill, honestly, because you've shown me you're very versatile. So I feel like just in thinking about like the New York sound in general, like I just open up your horizons a little bit. You don't listen to nothing else outside of just your man's. Nah, I support the bros 100%. Always supporting the bros. Okay. I listen to, this is not the bros, I listen to mom music or listen to some baby, Dirk, I don't really. But nobody yeah. from your city? Hmm? Nobody from your city? Everybody in my city don't like me. That's not true. That's everybody. not true, D-Dot. That's really not true. 
No, that's the exactly. Yeah, yeah, but shout out them. I got my son. That's my son, Cash Cobain. That's my son. We follow each other. Yeah, yeah, my, I mean, hey, Buggy so too. Many. Like he showed me love too. But look I spy right. Look, look at this board, man. Oh my god, you're taking so local. Though. Yeah, you are. It's <laughs> so many people in New York, even outside of like the drill space, that I feel like you know, if you haven't listened, then I think that you should. Because I think with the sound that you're evolving into. I can see you like collabing with some people in New York that you may have not even thought about, which was going to be my next question. But I feel like when it comes to collabs, you're probably going to say your bros. No? Or yes? Yeah. But I'm not going to say the famous collabs. Uh, yeah, I wait for that. I'm not telling nobody that. No, nah, I was going to ask you about like what collabs you would want, not what collabs you got in works. Mm, um, I don't really, I'm not really that type of nigga that want collabs because I would, I don't, I just, I don't like. I don't like looking like the like I don't like asking for shit like that's cause I wouldn't like how it would end up later like when if I ask a nigga for something like a song then then he say like nah little bro I don't really I'm gonna make that gonna make me like damn like why even ask for it so I'd rather just take that to myself I mean I'd rather just just keep that to myself I'd rather not just ask nobody. Well, I think that, you know, for this year, it seems like you're trying to, like, kind of ground yourself and try to figure, like, surround yourself with positivity and figure it out. I want to circle back to this conversation maybe, like, at the end of the year and see, like, where your view on this conversation is when you come back. But we'll move on from now because you were voted our youngest in charge last year. Congratulations. Um, which is your second year, your second award, excuse me, in a row that you've gotten from Talk of the Town. So shout out to you because you're doing your big one. Youngest in Charge. What does Youngest in Charge mean to you? Everything. I got I got a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that the vote, like people was voting based on pocket watching and knowing you got money. Why do you think you got voted Youngest in Charge? Because my supporters love me, bro. They love me and I love them. And they, they showed that they could put more votes than the other ones. No, it's because you're working. Your music is good. Yes, you got the money, but you putting the work in. And you got, don't suck your teeth one more. What you looking over there for? I'm the one that's bro. talking. What's the problem? What? Bro, you know my fans love me, bro. Of course they do. Bro, but you, there's a know, reason. you know my fans love me, bro. You There's know they'll put that you, up, bro. But I feel like in you saying that your fans are the reason why you won is discrediting yourself for what you're doing. Like, your friend, your fans are voting for you for a reason. Because they love me. But why do they love you? Because you're doing what you're Cause doing. Because of who I am. It is not just because of my music. Because I show them love. Because if any artist could just be making music and they could get 3,000 votes. <laughs> Any artist, I really not show any, love to my fans. Artists, that's not I go live on stream. I talk to them. I do shit that a lot of artists don't do. Period. Exactly. So it's not just because they put up the view, the vote. But tell her my fans love me. Bro, she don't gotta tell me. I know. But I'm just saying that in talking about bro, your you, fans. Bro, niggas know my fans love me, bro. My fans, those are my best friends right there, bro. When they be coming, <laughs> when they be coming to my shows, when I be seeing fans that they come. Again, I'll be like, shut my heart, I missed you, my heart, for me, for me. When they come again, again to different shows, I didn't see, like, we didn't have five different shows. Same, same group, shorties, swear to God, swear to God. So how important is your fan base, like, your relationship with your fan base? To A you? lot, bro. Without your fan base, an artist is nothing. What are you without your fan base? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You can't, you dropping a song. You dropping a song, you dropping a song for what? You're not even showing love to your fan base. Shit, that shit's gonna fuck you, your whole career. Now, have you ever had any situations where like you tried to show love, but then like they took it a little too far? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> what no, happened? I don't know. That just be wildin'. Like one time I posted my number on the gram, some dumb shit. They just started just texting me OD. Now, why did you do I love that? You, I like what? Everything. I'm sure they probably sent them pictures and then crazy. Yeah, what 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 made you do that though? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we did talk about um, tweaking already, which just dropped um last Friday, which is my birthday. Um, how has the reception been to that? Like, what have people been saying about that song? It's doing good right now. I ain't gonna lie, my shit doing good mm -hmm. for me. I've been. Just supporting the song OD on the gram for me, just for me, 
Just doing me, man. Just next, I got my next song dropping, my album coming out soon. So, mm -hmm. so we just going to see what I got for this year. Okay. I really like it. I feel like it's really vibey. Um, but, you know, you reminded me of, you know, Hey Y'all, the song by Outkast? You do, probably. Hey no okay wow you are making me feel so old right now okay so it's a song by outcast and in the song he say like y'all don't really want to hear me y'all just want to dance and i thought about that song when listening to your song because i felt like it was so vibey but at the same time i felt like within the lyrics there was like things that you were talking about that was like your actual experience of what you were really going through um so can you just talk to us about like what the inspiration behind so what did I say in my song? You, you were saying, like, pray for me. You were saying, you see murder in my eyes, but I don't got no blood on me. Like, stuff like that. The last word that you said was pray for me, and the video was in a church. So I think, like, there's significance to that. Because it's, like, a vibey beat. It's like, wow, this sounds really good. But it's like, you're also, like, you, you talking some real shit at the same time. So what was the inspiration behind that song? And, like, was there anything specifically that kind of, like, kicked off your writing process for that? I ain't gonna lie. Just, just really been doing my own shit, bro. Like I said, I've just been doing my own shit. Staying in the studio. Mm -hmm. Staying to myself. The more you stay in the studio, the better you get. For me, that's what I learned. For mm -hmm. me, so I just with this song right here, I, it was one of my favorites. One of my favorites, so I just dropped it. For me, and it's look, it's doing good for me. So, for me, now I just gotta just keep dropping. Then my album, for me, like I said, after my album, that's when everything should be. Everything should be a hundred percent good. Okay, so in that song, do you feel like that was? Because my album, I've been working on it for a whole year. So after my album, 100%, then I start working on my other album. When's the yeah. album coming out that you're working on right now? Chill. Okay, see, did I, you brought up the album so many times that I thought it was something like you, you would want to talk about. It's coming out. When? I'm not telling you. <laughs> like, what you mean? Can we get a season? Can we get like a... Summer, winter, fall. Hot. <laughs> I mean, I guess I did say a season, so hi. You giving us some, like, summer or, like, early fall vibes. We just, we'll keep it right there. Okay. Um, but just to, like, finish off the tweaking convo, though, is there any significance in the way that you ended it, though? The pray for me, like, is that... Yeah, like, that shit just meant a lot, like, that's what I... For me, paranormal, ready to die. Because lately I've been tweaking. For me, it's just how, like... For me, like when you when you to yourself, sometimes you just start thinking a lot of shit. For me, especially in, in, in like my situation, like you big in the game, not like you big like in my level. Cause when you big like Dirk, and I'm not big like Dirk, and I'm saying like you big in like in the way like me and my son Didi. For me, young niggas for me. So for me, it's just a, a lot of you play when you're young. For me, you doing grown folks shit. For mm -hmm. me. When you 16, 17, you're doing stuff that 25 year olds are supposed to be doing. Yeah. For me. So that shit just, for me, you just feel like if you talk about your shit in your songs, it'll just be better. For me, that's how I feel. So Sometimes you, I freestyle too. Like, I feel like when you freestyle, you're just speaking like shit that mm -hmm. really just, for me. It's like your therapy. Do you feel like it helps you? Mm, no, nah, music is my therapy, but like, I'll just be in the booth chilling and shit for me. Sometimes I write, sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. So at times where you feel like overwhelmed with everything that you have, because you do have a lot going on on your plate. Honestly, like you are light years ahead of even like where I was at in 16, just in terms of like your involvement, like the access that you have, like the things that you have to do from a day to day. How do you deal with that? Like also while trying to like grow up. Nah, it's because I'm just... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, for me, I'm just like my mentality. I'm just, I'm mad young, but I just, for me, just move older for me, for me, and I just, for me, put, for me, everything, family always come first. That's it. Mm. For me, I just, my mentality, I'm just more older, and 
For me, I just, family always come first. That's okay. It. You have a good support system with your family? Mm hmm Okay. That's good. All right. So, we can move on to some of the songs that, some other songs that I really like. So, we talked about Outside. We talked about Tweaking. Um, I also really, really like 3 a.m. in Miami with Lil Tyler. The Barb and Me, personally, loves the Moment for Life sample. Y'all body that. Um, how did that come about? How did that um, collab come about? No, um, shout out... Um, Lil Tyler's been my son for me. I've been met up with him. Like, that's been bro for me. But I think for me, my a and R, shout out my a and R. She, she, she hit his a and R for me. And for me, he already fucked with me. So they just sent him the song. And he just, for me, my son did it in his studio. Mm -hmm. For me, did it in his studio. And then my son linked me up in LA. He was just chilling and shit for me. And then it was the shorties came. We did the video mm -hmm. for me. And everything was a good vibe for me. The video for me, nigga was chilling, pools there for me, and then for me, everything was good. And y'all sounded really good together, which also brings me back to what I was saying to you about not closing yourself off just to like the drill stuff, even in New York, because y'all have two different sounds, but y'all sounded fire together. Like the the match between y'all two was ten out of ten. Now I ain't gonna lie, somebody told me like. And my son was struggling to make that because, you know, he's from Florida. So, like, the the, the Well, beat. the struggle paid off because it sounded great. Thank and you. And sometimes, sometimes you got, sometimes there's greatness in the struggle, too. So, like, I feel like it was worth it. What we heard was was great. Like I said, 10 out of 10. Um, so, you and Los Hallado have something in common. I feel like a lot of times when I see y'all, y'all be with the older ladies. Because uh, I don't even know what you did that for. <laughs> It's true, y'all be with the older ladies. Um, let's get into that a little bit. Um, I know you said that you're not actively like dating right now, but like, how is that just in terms of just being surrounded not only by the girls your age, but also like grown women too, who also like trying to shoot their shot at y'all or you specifically because he's not here to talk about it. I don't know, I don't know, TV, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about none of that. You don't want to talk about it? And I say I don't know about none of that. Hi. We know. see it, did I? It's only see this is this see. is what did we talk about before this? I don't even want to put your seat out okay there. It's okay to lie. It's not okay. And in this case, you're doing a bad job at lying because Oh my the, god, okay, okay, phone. okay, 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 okay. Right. <laughs> like if you go lie, make it convincing. We know what's going on. Even if you don't want to talk about it specifically, like what is it like having access to all the ladies? Um, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Stressful vibes. Do know. you like it? Is it too much? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. All right. Know. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. 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 What do you want to talk about, Dion? I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> All right, cause you. So let's talk about why you decided to stop dating. Cause you just said that you're not dating them. Uh, All right, I just oh, gave you the floor. I'll keep it wicked. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the floor and asked you what you wanted to talk about. Bro, I don't know what you want to talk about. Clearly not what you want to talk about. Cause every time I'm asking you something, you try to deflect from my question. So what you want to talk about? Date, I don't date. I don't date. I don't date. I don't date. You don't date. I don't date. All right. But there's Do no you reason date? why. Not right now. I mean, <laughs> TP. Yeah, yeah. TP, TP, TP. Yeah, if we yeah. start getting on you. I mean, and that's fine. But if you were being open with me, then I'll be open with you when you're not. So that's what I'm saying. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about. Let's see. You want to talk about, let's see, streaming. Because you started streaming. I've been People like that. when you, okay. But okay, you, yeah. okay, so you're streaming. People like when you stream. Is that something that you want to do? Like yeah, I was streaming on Monday. It was, it was like two days ago yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I was mm -hmm. streaming this Monday. Feel me? And I had like my niggas there just there sitting down with me, trying me just chilling. I was driving, driving the driving game. Mm -hmm. and me just there chilling my chat for me. Okay. Is that something that you want to do like more consistently? Or mm -hmm. I'm about to get a better, better camera shit. I'm about mm -hmm. to get my shit way better. Do you watch any streamers? Yeah, probably Ka. That's the only one, probably. That's the only one. I know. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened with Ka with the girl with the five thousand dollars. You don't pay that no mind. So basically, 
Um, there's this girl that's trying to extort him for five thousand dollars allegedly. And I like, know the story, but I was. You like, don't want to talk about it. I just nah, I don't want to talk about it. This is like. It's none of my business. That's bro. I just wouldn't want to talk about his business. Okay, that's fair. We don't have to talk about his business. Shout out to Kai. I personally love Kai, so it wasn't even like I was trying to get into his teeth. No, I'm just saying. But in a situation like that, hypothetically, I know you're not a hypothetical type of guy, but what do you do to protect yourself from like women who try to like come into your circle, who may try to get some money out of you, who may like. How do you handle situations like that? Once I peep the vibe, get out the car. That's it. What that look like? Chill, bro. Uh, All right, did I? Once I get the vibes, you just once you get the vibes, but you also told me that you don't have any turnoffs earlier in this conversation, so I don't even know what that looks like to you. That's why I'm saying, like, what does that look like? Exactly. No I, I wouldn't never. I wouldn't even let me get. Let me get. I wouldn't even let, <laughs> let it get me mad. You said what? Repeat I wouldn't that. even let me get, get me mad. <laughs> I wouldn't even let her get me mad. You wouldn't just, even let her get you mad. Okay. No. All right. So, one thing I wanted to get your opinion on, too. We can wrap it up soon because I know I have you here for a while. So, I know we got the project coming. We don't know when the project is coming. Mm -hmm. What kind of vibes do we have on the project? Can you tell me that? Artists. Vibes. And um, art. Now, you already said that you wasn't telling the artist, but if you change your mind. I got a lot of melodic. My shit called Two Sides of the Story, for me? Okay. Y'all see when, when I drop it. Two um, Sides of the Story. So it's like half melodic, half drill. Same shit. Mm. Okay, period. So um, what else do you have coming? So I know you want to start streaming more. You have the project coming up. Do you have any performances? Do you want to like, is there anything else that you want to get into? Nah, right now I'm really just locked in, bro. No. No, no game time. No, like playing around and shit. Mm. Just really be sitting, be in the studio all the time with the bros or in the studio by myself or just be in my crib, bro. Like there's no play. I haven't got no fun time. Like after rolling loud, it just just have been no fun time. Like after after like after situations and events like that, it's always back to back to back to work for me. Mm. There's gonna be no fun time. Always studio. Out of the studio with the bros, or just be me, Dolly, or I go to my crib and I stream. I, I, I was always doing something to work. Okay, know? I like that you're keeping yourself occupied. That's good. Um, is there anything else that you want to touch on before we end this? Is there anything else you want to touch on before we end this? Honestly, yes, but I already know how you how you've been acting this whole time, so we're not gonna talk about it because I'm really, you know, I've had it up to here with you at this point, Dida. You you asking me, but you're not trying to answer. So at this point, I'm going to just say, you know, I appreciate you for coming. I, it was really good getting to know you. And I know that you like focusing on yourself right now and you doing your thing. And I hope that at the end of this year, after your project drops and after like, you know, you outside, we could re revisit this conversation and like maybe then you'll feel like talking to me. I don't got a problem talking to I don't feel like you have a problem with me, but you don't want to answer the questions. Cause that's just me, man. And that's okay. And I'm accepting you for who you are. I'm meeting you halfway. And that's okay. I appreciate you. My heart. <laughs> so is there anything else that you want to say to the people before we end? I love my supporters. The haters. My balls, nigga. Fuck y'all. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next interview. Bye.